is this the end of affiliate websites? We're going to be discussing that. Basically, ChatGBT has just recently released the shopping experience within ChatGBT. So this is what it looks like. We'll, we'll try and actually trigger some of these results. And as you can see, the prompt at the top here is what's the best espresso machine under $200 that comes close to the taste of coffee in Italy. And as you can see here, it's listed three different products and also it's linked to the websites that which you can purchase those products from. Um, I'll go through like a couple different tweets. So obviously we've got Carrie Rose here and she's basically saying that the chatbot will now offer recommendations, present images and also reviews. Very similar to what like a coffee affiliate website would actually do. Hence why I started this video off by saying, is this the end of affiliate SEO? So we'll get into that in just a second. Um, right now, as of recording this on the 29th, it's like 1 a.m. basically. Right now, you can only do it in certain um, niches. So you can only do it apparently in fashion, beauty, home and goods and electronics. The shopping results will be based on structured meta metadata from third parties such as pricing products and uh, descriptions so one thing that i will say about this section i've seen a lot of people mention this this does mean that if you aren't using schema on your website you you definitely should whether it is product schema whether it's local business schema in some cases people don't just search for products but they might be searching for a service and if you're able to use um, service-based schema on your website, there's a much higher chance of being pulled into um, ChatGBT and, and just AI um, LLMs in general. Open uh, AI ChatGBT won't receive a kickback from purchases made through ChatGBT. Chat so this is a really important part because I did see a lot of people mentioning this on Twitter saying like, hey, does that mean that ChatGBT is like an ultimate affiliate? It's not actually the case. Um, it's very similar to if you were to search for a product on Google, Google doesn't get a kickback um, if they send the, the click through to, let's say, Walmart or whoever. However, recently they said they're open to tasteful advertising in which OpenAI will charge affiliate fees for purchases made for ChatGBT. So that's how one way that OpenAI could also make another income stream as well, which is, which is very interesting. Now, before we get into the video, I will just show you guys um, the Masterminders. It is my conference in the 27th of June. We've got the likes of Carrie Rose um, speaking, Craig Campbell, Lara Costa, James Dooley, and many more. So if you want to learn how to actually rank a website, how to get into LLMs, this is going to be the conference for you. So head over to masterminders.com. So a couple different scenarios where I have used it. Now, in this case, I said, what's the best Nespresso machines under 300? And as you can see here, it has glitched out and I have actually re like refreshed my page. Um, the images don't pull in. You can see that it's trying to pull in the images, but it's, it's, it's not. The prices also don't pull in um, like it has done on this pretty screenshot. Um, so that was test number one, and that's with ChatGPT 4.0. So then I decided to do it with ChatGPT 04 Mini, and as you can see, the images do pull in. They take a little bit longer, um, and if we take a look here, we've got all of the actual images, and it's also in line with what it's talking about. So as we can see here, we've got the Sage uh, 279, or sorry, it's for £279. It's the first one on the list. And as you can see here, it is actually the Sage um, that is being presented. Then you've got the DeLonghi um, style EC685. And that is in line with the actual image that is being pulled in by ChatGBT. Right, so I've just tried this prompt maybe like seven different times using di seven different like um, ChatGBT versions and stuff. And it, currently, it is very hit and miss. Obviously, it's literally the ex first day. It's not even been 24 hours. It's, it's been released. Um, or sorry, announced, should I say. Um, so sometimes the images are corresponding with the actual one, two, three, four, the list that's actually presented to you. 
in a lot of times, like I, I've probably just tried this maybe like 10 different times on 10 different um, sets of keywords. I've even, on this example, I've actually used the same prompt uh, that OpenAI has, has used for their actual announcement. And it's just not actually giving you the, the same result. Like this looks very visually appealing. Like it's even came back. I don't know if you guys can see that where it's like versatile choice, compact design, best budget choice. So it's like categorizing it exactly like what a, what an actual affiliate website would do. Like if I was to just search this, um, like if we were to just click on this, you could, you would see that obviously you've got like the image there, um, so on and so forth. Let's let's go through a couple different websites so you guys get a good look and feel of it. So as you can see, you've got it very well broken down. Um, Open AI currently can't do or it's it, like the the ten times that I've just tried it, it doesn't work. You are also meant to enable search here, um, which I actually have done. Uh, the best example that it's actually come back with was the first one that I showed you guys, which was this here. Um, and this was with ChatGBT 04 Mini without the search enabled. So I'm going to assume that currently they might be struggling, struggling to pull in like the the actual um, products and stuff like that. But ChatGBT 04 Mini, again, I've tried it three different times. It worked very well the first time. But the two times after that, it's not worked very well. Um, but one thing that I will say is obviously it is ob it is still being rolled out. So I'm going to assume like with anything with AI nowadays, it's just going to get better and better over time. Like, for example, I've, I've done this search here and this was for best dentists in Manchester. And like what I said at the very start of this video, these are all being pulled in based off of schema on the actual website. So if you've not got schema, um, or if you're just a brand new dentist and nobody's heard of you, if you've got zero reviews and stuff like that on your um, on your Bing business profile or also on your Google business profile, you're, you're probably not gonna get pulled in. But back to what I, back to the point that I was trying to make right if i was to just search best dentists in manchester or best dentists in liverpool or best dentists in london every time it will consistently work it will pull in the results that i want it to so like for example best dentists in uh, we'll do london right but i remember when they released this tech again it was very very hit and miss sometimes you would get the map results other times you would get like a very mundane list like what like what is done there um so even when it's like been around for quite a while and stuff it might still um get it wrong let's let's just do let's just repeat this with search enabled right and we'll do it one last time with london um because this is a lot more consistent i would say um as opposed to the actual e-commerce one that they've just released today but again as you can see with ai anything can go wrong and it will go wrong um but back to the point that i was making if you're trying to get into more llms i will do a separate video on on how you can manipulate llms and how you can appear higher for llms and stuff because there are a lot of ways that you can actually show up in llms um like, for example, I've just done a search for why is the Mastermind is the best SEO conference. And as you can see, it's got the conference and it's also mentioned the Mastermind. Um, it's got keynote speeches. It's got global talent. Everything that I've actually like fed the LLMs, it's actually pulling back. It's also mentioning like James Dooley is going to be there, so on and so forth. So if you've not built out a brand, do not worry because it's not terribly late you can still feed llms you can still give open ai chat gbt google gemini the information that it needs to actually rank your brand it there is just a little bit of time involved it's not like an overnight success by any means if you guys have enjoyed this video please remember to leave a like and if you do want consulting if you want help with your website maybe even getting into um llms head over to casualdash.com fill in the form like what i said at the start of the video i am hosting a in-person seo conference on the 27th of june in manchester 
So if you want to be involved, if you want to learn more about AI, SEO, business, head over to themasterminders.com and grab your tickets while you can. And I'll see you guys in the next video.